a tease of Middle East window Obama. Trump has vowed to heal the wound, apparently by embracing parts of Netanyahu's nationalist agenda. But it's clear that several long-standing allies in the Middle East are relishing an end to what they saw as moralizing rhetoric, confused signals, and unfulfilled red lines, and favoring a Trump pivot to counterterrorism and security. Barack Obama now joins that distinguished line of presidents who failed to bring peace to the Middle East. Syria now joins Cambodia, Rwanda, and Srebrenica as a colossal humanitarian catastrophe and appalling human slaughter, which the rest of the world stood and watched from the sidelines, including the lone superpower and its values-driven president. There are, in fact, a set of basic, overarching ideas that appear to animate Obama and his most loyal aides, which come through in any number of interviews and profiles. Widespread evidence of torture, chemical weapons attacks and even more crimes by Assad's forces had made a partnership unfeasible to Obama and most of America's foreign policy establishment. Amos Yadlin, the director of the Institute and a former head of Israel's military intelligence, told JTA that he endorsed the plan, saying Israel had a window of opportunity with Trump. Many fear overreach by Israel that could trigger a new Palestinian uprising. Donald Trump's upbeat dismissal of human rights as a foreign policy principle could profoundly shake a Middle East landscape beset by warring factions and beleaguered governments, with some players eyeing once unimaginable new alliances. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a Tease Second Mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.